You're investing on the wrong place, my brothers and sisters. And it doesn't matter how long you have invested, you need to stop. Stop your investment. Shift your attention to the background, which is silence. And then discover the truth of who you are. Because there, there is no questions of why am I here? What happens to me after I die? Where was I before I came here? What's going to happen to planet Earth after I die? What happens to my children? Are they going to be secure or not? What happens to the world? Because when you die back into silence, there is no questions. And there is nobody there concerned with the questions. And consequently, there are no answers either. It's only peace. It's only love. It's only bliss. which is your true nature, untainted. Recognize the space. Recognize the emptiness. When I say emptiness, people think, I used to think the same way, nothingness, emptiness. Buddhism, they're talking about nothingness, emptiness. But then you think of a dull, boring place. But that's not how it is. It's a point of reference. Entering anyone who discovered themselves, anyone, any person who came to awakening and they recognized the emptiness, the silence within themselves, They also discovered the joy of life. Their life changed. It's not that you're going to awaken to the truth of who you are, and then from then on, life is dull, and you're like, um, um living here. It's not that. You tap into something you have no idea that it exists. There's so much light. There's so much love. There's so much inspiration. There's so much joy. But then you realize that your life starts from that moment on. It's juicy. It's alive. Yet its source is in silence. You operate from silence. You speak from silence. You dance from silence. You make love from silence. You fight from silence. And its quality is unbelievable. It's just like a 1960 television that you're watching TV on a 1950, 1940. You know, it's got all these white stuff, fuzzy things on it. Lines go up, you know, versus a modern TV and HD big screen TV. You literally find yourself in the movie. Major difference in quality. It's the same thing. And better. Okay, can you explain how to live in the emptiness and silence?
Miss Amy, you want to ask me this question in person? Are you good with that? So everyone can hear it. Um, so I was just, you know, going into the silence, into the emptiness, and then we're also living in this 3D world, like that's where we are. And to get to the source, we need to, like, how do we, what is a good balance? Or how do we get uh, into a balance of going within ourselves, to connecting into the silence, but then still operating in this 3D world? Right. Everything starts to happen automatically. Everything happens, begin to happen from no mind. Without any interruptions, any fears and worries and anxieties of the mind. You're simply doing starts to happen. It's like you're an artist. And when you're creating your jewelry and you're making your jewelry and you lose yourself in it and three hours go by and in this three hours you've been making all this beautiful art, who's doing it? How does that happen? How does this beautiful art being created? It just comes out. You're not really thinking about it. It just starts to appear. Yet your body was involved in it, in making it, but the product comes out and you're looking at it and you're wondering, how the hell did that happen? I'm unmuting you. I'm going to unmute you. Sorry, it was a little loud. Back yeah, no, no problem. So, you can you relate to this? Did you hear what I said? Yeah. It, um, it's... When when you're when you're making your art, you're making your jewelry. How much an effort is it for you? No effort. And so three hours may go by and it was like, you don't even know three hours went by. And all of a sudden this amazing jewelry, this product is produced, but it was effortless because you weren't doing it from the mind. It comes from no mind. The same thing in our regular life. With everything else, you're operating from this place. You recognize silence as the background of who you are. You recognize yourself as the background, not as what appears to be. It's that recognition of who you are, then everything else starts to flow out of it without any interruption. And it just falls into places perfectly more, more than ever before. Because it's not the mind doing it. It's coming from emptiness. 